My name is Steve Clack, and I'm the executive director of Bent Marble, um, which is a, a nonprofit project uh, in which we teach documentary filmmaking workshops in different countries around the world. Actually, this is the, the second time that I've been in Tanzania. Um, a year and a half ago, I was teaching at ZIF. So not, not the last ZIF, but the one before. Um, I was teaching these workshops there. And then I went to Dar, and I was teaching with two organizations in Dar Salaam. So actually, this is my second trip uh, to Tanzania, and, and I really love Tanzania. I hope to come back. I, I would say that normally, normally there's a few students, a few participants from the workshops who are like very serious about documentary filmmaking. And, um, and those students and I, we, we normally keep in touch on WhatsApp or we keep in touch on Facebook. So yeah, so the most serious students, um, yes, I, I do remain in contact with them. And, and I continue to hear how they're doing. Um, you know, sometimes I, I mentor them a little bit if they have questions. And, and, I, and I like to know about their progress. What, one of the big challenges in, in terms of teaching is, it seems so simple, but it's actually attendance. For instance, it's normal that everyone comes to class on the first day and maybe the second day, but by the third, fourth, fifth class, people begin to, to disappear. So I think the most important uh, thing for me and the biggest challenge is finding a group of students who, who are committed. It's easy to find a bunch of people that want to come in the beginning, but I don't want that. I want to get a group of people that will come every time so that I can teach them about pre-production, production, and post-production. Um, another challenge, obviously, is when I'm in a new culture. Um, sometimes I don't speak the language yeah. in places where I go. And I know that in, um, in Tanzania, that many people speak English, but, um, but Swahili, obviously, is extremely important. So I've been trying to learn Swahili, and, and I think I know a little bit now, so it's, it's helping me. It, maybe I have a translator in class, but then after class, I have no way of talking with people, so, so that is a challenge. Oh, yeah. Can you um, give us some few uh, words in Swahili, maybe? Oh, sure. Huh? Um, sasa, nina seima ki Swahili ki dogo sana, lakini nina weza kuomba chakula, kwa kwa mfano, maji, um, nina penda kula wali na maharagi na mboga mboga kila siku kitamusana kama hiyo I think this class is particularly motivated which as a teacher again all I really want are motivated students that's number one yeah. that's an awesome question um, after the workshop finishes and, yeah. and because our last class is actually tomorrow so after the workshop finishes, I really hope that people continue to learn. I, I hope that this model that we do here with Bent Marble, you know, although it's been me teaching a lot, people have been learning by doing. Like, like right now, I mean, you're, you're filming an interview with a team of three people, so we are learning by doing. I hope people continue to learn by doing, and I hope people also continue to ask the other professionals that are in the class, because we have professional photographers and videographers and filmmakers and media makers in the class. I hope people continue to help each other and continue to learn. You know, you know people can always ask me questions you know, on WhatsApp or Facebook, but I think it's even better when, when we can interact you know, with the real people around us. So I hope that this class will also inspire people to continue to learn and to share what they know uh, with their community. <laughs> the number one thing um, that I love to have as a teacher is having a group of motivated students. And I really feel like we had a large group here, but we had a large group of very motivated people. And, and that, really, um, that really makes my job easier as a teacher. Um, it makes my job more pleasurable, and it certainly helps the learning process when, when all the participants really want to learn. Again, um, I do keep in touch with some people, and it's usually the people that, that put the most effort um, you know, into the learning process.
Joe. For the future, I really wish that this group of workshop participants will continue to learn more about filmmaking, you know, whether it's documentary filmmaking or whether it's filmmaking in general. Um, I really hope that everyone here um, continues to learn. Um, and like we kind of have the model in the workshop where you know, we're not just learning from me, but we're also learning you know, from all the professionals and all the people with experience that have been in this room. I hope that people continue to learn from each other. Um, while, I, while I would be very happy if everyone in this workshop finishes a film, I would be even happier if they continue to learn and continue to make more films and continue to help you know, those people in their yeah, community. Yeah, man. Black. Yeah, man. Changamoto ambazo amekutana nazo ni pamoja na sala la kusafiri ambaye ameamua sasa hivi kutafuta pikipiki ili weze kumsaidia katika shughuli zake za kila siku. Nasa.